How's it going, guys? Chris Bay here again with some more Brawl here in MTG Arena. Today, we are looking at a Val Gavoth Terror Eater deck. And uh, I'm going to keep this opening hand. It got a Swamp, which is for Thoughtseize. And then, what else do you need? We're demons. Uh, we are a demon tribal. Okay, so our opponent's hand is a big old pal of nothing. Do I play? I think I keep the Hagger Mauling. It isn't in our 40 lands, so it technically technically wouldn't count towards. Oh, I'm going to edit the deck after this one. Uh, because there's a, one of the cards I got from the new set uh, basically has this effect. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not in the deck. Pretty sure me of the past did not think that far ahead. And uh, we are. Tutoring. Uh, I think I want this one. We won't be able to cast it next turn, but. Yeah, I guess we still keep this as our land drop. Tutor again. This time we grab a land, be responsible. We can be greedy though, even if we are going to be responsible. What are you, negative four, negative four? Do you count me or my opponent? Whenever you cast a spell, power and toughness are equal to 20 minus the highest life total. Alright, so it's me. I am the problem. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. A chromatic lantern. I don't think any creatures died this turn. Uh, does that give first strike? No, it does not. Different artifact. Different thing. <laughs> Gonna lose some life. We got the lair. We'll swing in for two again. So hexproof enchantment land. Inner's tapped, but you get to choose a color, and uh, you basically get that color. It's kind of like this part is not good. This part might be good, and this part would be really, really bad because of this part. If it weren't for this. Uh, neat. I should have taken the five, but I kind of want to start playing demons. Leone. Put this down. No, I can't even get you. Um. We need two more demons for Liliana's contract to gain. It's getting surprisingly close, all things considered. Make sure we can Fable Passage, get that up to four, and then our Cabal Stronghold is actually on the verge of producing mana instead of not doing that. Hmm. So next turn, I guess we go grab Toxic Deluge. I was gonna be uh, one that's gonna be big brain about this, but 
Ouch. The toxic deluge is gonna kill me though. Like that is a, a fact, unfortunately. Do we get the swamp now? We mm -hmm. swing. Boast. No, it's too risky. We have to take the toxic bailish. I was gonna odd, odd, even, even. I can't draw it unless they block. Thank you, opponent. Thank you, thank you. Mm hmm. Do I have enough to actually do this? I don't think I do. Oh, 24, they gained life. Hey. Okay, well, I just punted the game away. That is perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. Oh, assumptions were made and they were wrong. But my problem was that my only way to draw a card was to convene it. Which I was thinking of being a, uh, a tricky, tricky, clever person and doing, but uh, unfortunately, if you don't have a creature, you can't convene. And if you can't convene, like that, that was our only option, as previously stated. So, uh, out of luck, if it said convene anything you want, uh, we would have been fine, but no. No. We're mainly playing this card for roleplay purposes. Like, it's, it's not a great land, but and it's not great in this deck either. Look at my shiny hat land. It's also an enchantment. Can you believe it? That's all I got. Barador. I think I know random facts about Lord of the Rings things. And then like you'll give me a location in the Lord of the Rings and I have no idea about it. Like none whatsoever. Uh, Barador, it could be, like, in the far north, or it could be at, uh, in Mordor. I think it's in Mordor, but I don't know for sure. The, uh, the brain doesn't work that way for some reason. Uh, that's my Swamp Cycler. I didn't have a lot of creatures, because there aren't that many demons. Like, there are 20, 25, probably more. I just didn't notice because they're not in my collection. And uh, I was like, I need more creatures than that. So the easiest way to do that, I think, is just to add some cyclers. Um, swamp cycling in particular is really good when you have a uh, land that makes man off of the, the number of swamps you can draw, right? Wall stronghold, really good. Not Cabal Coffers, but still really good. I have six mana. I guess I just if I play this, I can't do anything. Maybe I play it, they kill it, and I reanimate it. Are we that big brain? Reanimate sorcery though, so I have to do it during my turn. Preferably. I'm gonna leave a stop here. Um, we're gonna surveil and reanimate whatever. The first thing that hits the bin. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna reroll. We can do better than that. We can do better. I know it. Never mind. One more hurt. Not great, not great. Okay. Um Okay, here what I have. That 
Pues no. I wanted to take a path that would make me safer, and I ended up hurting myself more than. More than I was. I took half my life total for a 4 4. Black. Death is coming real quick. Neat. Neat. Each player chooses. Well, I can't choose the other one. Yeah, go ahead. Exile that thing. I guess we just block now from, from now until the end of time. Ah. No bear door. You're finally, finally gonna shine. Pass the turn. Nightmare Shepherd's really good. I'm glad our opponent's wrath did not line up well against it. If it had lined up well against it, we would have uh, been in a far worse position than we are now. You were not my first choice, but you actually you actually were the right choice. I could have four more life than I do right now, and uh wouldn't be a problem. Oh you have death touch. Where did you get death touch from? Take two. Yeah, exile that thing. Don't need it. Why would I need it? Uh, spin to win? Hmm. Not great. Not great. A little bit better, though. A little bit better. Um... Climb. Acid turn. We got lifelink now. That's nice. All our opponent has to do is not attack with Gothmog, and the lifelink doesn't mean anything, but I technically have two protection effects on the battlefield. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Uh -huh. Everything's gonna die. Like every everything. Massacre Girl is, uh, gonna do some murders. This is, uh, also is a good demonstration of why, why I have a fondness for Arena, because doing this in person would be absolutely awful. The climb. Still alive somehow. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. Resolve. Going to do this. Need a masker girl answer. Decline. That doesn't do it. Like there's a there are things, but they don't do it. Could that do it? That that would do it, right? That would do it. A get rid of something, a creature, an enchantment, and a discard. 
Look at me, dealing 8 damage, going up to 12. Well, this Mana Guardian has, uh, has looped with Lisa very well. He was going to get one loop with a Nightmare Shepherd, but he's kind of he's kind of gone all out. To be fair, three mana, four three is nothing to scoff at. Like that is some good stats. Then there are stats. Uh, Elder Demon time. He has life link, so that'll help pad my life total. And if they want to kill him, they can sacrifice three permanents. I don't care. The Wall Stronghold will just show up and fix my problems for me anyways, so... I got that. Hey, dear opponent. Take nine. I would like to go to 21. Uh, Immortal Sun? Really good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I should play the Immortal Sun first, and then I would have gained one more life and dealt one more damage, but... They don't answer Commander to the map, right? Like, they're still gonna die. Am I being erased? That is messed up. Wait. Just gonna need to die, opponent. That's all I gotta say on the matter. I don't think it's a work, but it could. It could work. Aha, uh -huh. so now I get to do the spirit. And I can't gain life, so it doesn't really matter. Might be a lot of blockers. I only would have gotten through with. Actually, I could have. I should have attacked. I would have gotten through with one, but I might have had to sacrifice my selfless spirit. I think two. What is our opponent going to do, though? It's probably Wrath. Wrath is the best way to get around to the ward effect. And uh, this is an all out attack, right? Into a superior board state. Feels kind of kind of wrathy, if I'm being honest. Depending on what kind of wrath it is, though, if it's actually going to do anything. Because I can just, uh, Plaza of Heroes my problems away. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Now or never. Don't gotta activate Barador right now, so uh, I'll just hold up protection and uh, pretend that nothing is wrong. Um, 
No, not six. Half of six. Three. I can do three. Hmm. Turn on the additional card. Look at that. I can look for a demon. Uh, I think it's time, though, to end the game. At least to help. Help, help. Sure. Mm. What's the most fun I can do? What do you cost right now? I need to grab it. I should also grab my demon support. Ooh. You can even could be put anywhere during the opponents. That is good. like I looked at him and I thought getting to cast things that your opponent does is kind of good. That's kind of bonkers, honestly. I get the flare fortitude too. That's nice. Sure. I think they have the wrath. They're just slow rolling it because it doesn't do anything. CK two mana value card. Man, that thing has done a lot for me. Um uh, three. Our door. Pumping out orcs. An additional card. Desert temple. Or deserted temple. Very good. A little worrying. Uh, let's attack for 14. And which is unblockable. Do some crap stuff. What am I even doing with this? Artifacts? Artifacts and enchantments, I guess? This, this actually land destroys me. Personalized land destruction. How can I be so lucky? He's a very powerful boy. He's not one for turn. He can do it all day long. As long as he got life, he's gonna cast. I was planning on descending with that. Alright, opponent, we've played enough. Time to die. GG. I say, our opponent was very good at staying alive. They would be a good survivor. Either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.